welcome to Bridgehead. Game number two of this best of three. And spawning in the nine o'clock position as the pink Protoss player representing Team Extreme Supremacy. Ladies and gentlemen, currently one game down as opposed to one game up. My bad. It's cool T. Who looks like he's gonna be proxying the red Protoss player over here. Spawning, representing imaginary gaming. It's showtime. There's a pylon. There's a gateway. Ladies and gentlemen, Cool T is absolutely going for it. Will he get what he wants out of this proxy? It's just going to be the single gateway. We'll see how well that works for him. Gateway's coming down at more or less the same time. So, uh, it's not going to be anything too dramatic. Showtime just moving down to check and see if there's a uh, pylon gateway there. It isn't. It is actually slightly further away there on Bridgehead. And Bridgehead is a pretty fun map in terms of this kind of map architecture. You take a look down here, well, there's a base, but it's also surrounded by so much more space, and another base here, massive kind of non-ramp coming up here. You head up to this side, okay, this looks like a relatively safe, secure base to take initially, but there are rocks and it's very easy to attack by air. So a lot of dynamic play coming up here, and whoa, 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 that gets spotted, and Cool T knows, his opponent knows as well. So, that gateway has been seen. Uh, was the first Zealot cancelled? It was. So that means there's going to be a Zealot here being very, very annoying indeed until the Stalker can actually come out. Uh, Showtime cancelling that Zealot is going to be very frustrating for him. Cool T at the moment just preventing any and all mining uh, on gas. That Zealot being microed extremely well actually, forcing several probes. Uh, off of their mineral patches and a lot of mining time is actually being uh, lost right now Now we have a stalker coming in, but there are two zealots a mothership core comes in as well Number of workers currently 17 to 16 in favor of showtime. No work is actually killed, but a lot of mining time lost uh, over here for showtime Three Zealots now by this gateway in addition to a Stalker. If the Stalker is going to be moving on through with the Mothership Core, actually it's going to be enough to uh, to basically stop all of this. Stalker versus Stalker plus Mothership Core means Stalker plus Mothership Core will win, but he does have to dance around the Zealots and that's going to be a bit difficult. So Mothership Core is taking a bit of damage in the meantime. Yep, exactly. Just running a couple of pot shots to let the Mothership Core know your presence will not be tolerated. And more and more units getting produced by both players now. A very, very high intensity scrap to start game number two off. Showtime, don't forget, 1-0 up on Cool T. And is one game away from advancing in the lower bracket. He hasn't quite got to the invite stage yet. I think he's three matches, including this one, away from that. Ooh, and a couple of workers being killed off now is pretty good. He can lead the Zealots to try and rip apart the probes here. And so far, the Zealots are doing an okay job. <gasps> Managing to kill a Stalker as well inside the Mineral Line. That is interesting indeed. And a Photon Overcharge is going to get forced. But Showtime is down to 14 probes versus 20 right now. And this pressure from Cool T early on in the game seems to be paying off. You've got more and more coming in. Three more gateways inside the main base, guys. So we are moving into a four-gate situation where Cool T is going to want to completely overrun Showtime. And with this worker advantage, I think he might be able to. Showtime, he's got five workers on gas right now. A uh, bit of a spur of the moment blunder. He's now spotted and rectified the mistake. But his income is significantly down on his opponents right now. And Cool T's just going to continue applying the hurt. Killing off a sentry is always fantastic news. Ooh, needs to be careful about those Stalkers and the probes, though. All the Stalkers go down. That's a decent, well, I guess a decent enough trade for Showtime. He was forced to do that. Still down to 16 workers versus 23, and more and more Stalkers are being warped in. I feel like this game might be going Cool T's way uh, if they're unable in the very, very short term to stabilize. And there are just no units for Showtime to stabilize with right now. There are four gateways from Cool T. 
five Blink Stalkers inside the Mineral Line. It looks like this is going to a game number three, ladies and gentlemen. There's not an awful lot that can be done right now. And this proxy seems to have paid an awful lot of dividends. Is he getting the Mothership Core? He's getting the Mothership Core. He's getting everything he wants out of this position right now. He's going to be able to continue to warp in more and more. Oh, picks off that Stalker with a snipe from downtown. And GG is called Team Extreme Supremacy's Cool T will force this PvP into a deciding third game.